The following video introduces you to the process of beer filtration using distiller filters type FKS 010 to 040M. This is an alluvial candle filter consisting of a filter body with filtration segments, candles. This is a pressure tank. The highest operation over pressure is six bars. There is also batching equipment, which serves for the preparation and batching of alluvial filtrating and stabilizing agents, equipped with dosing pump and stirrer. Flow setting is done manually by changing of piston travel. The stirrer is in operation along with the piston. Batching disconnection is done by setting the piston travel to zero. A main circulating pump supplies the flow of liquids over the filter. Delivery of pump can be controlled by either a regulator valve on FKS010M or by a frequency converter on FKS020 to 040M. Part of the filter tubing is an air tank for cleaning processes. The filter is standardly fitted with a safety valve which prevents extra pressure, a checking pressure gauge for input and output overpressure indication, a flow meter and side glasses with LED lights. Drivers of the main and the dosing pump together with a light switch are placed on the switchboard box. Filter watering. Rinsing and watering of the filter is done either after sanitation before starting a filtration cycle or after the cycle finishes and the sanitation follows. The filter is watered by tap water connected to the input piping without using the pump. It is necessary to attend to proper watering of all the pipes and the air outlet of the filter body. Firstly, close the air outlet of the sludge space on the left, then the air outlet on the filtrate space on the right. Half fill the dosing container before basic silting up. Basic silting up. Basic silting up proceeds in several sequences. There is a different defined amount and type or mixture of filter materials for every part of the filter layer. Firstly, we prepare the suspension for the first part of the filter layer. We recommend using rough Berg mail with flow capacity of 400 to 900 liters per minute per meter squared in the amount of 700 grams per meter squared of filter area. Switch on the stirrer and put the Berg mail in the container. After stirring well, switch on the main circulating pump. Set up the flow for basic silting up and set the route for circulation via dosing pump. After approximately 15 to 20 minutes, as soon as the water becomes clear and the side glasses show the filter body plugs covered with the first part of the layer, we put in the container the Bergmail mixture for the second part of the filter layer. Now we use the Bergmail mixture which guarantees the final filtration effect. The flow capacity of the mixture should vary between 100 to 250 liters per minute per meter squared. This value corresponds with the mixture of rough and soft Berg mail in the ratio of 50-50. The recommended amount is 600 to 800 grams per meter squared of the filter area. After another 15 to 20 minutes, the side glasses show the filter layer, which has to be compact and even along the whole height of the plug. Layer finalization. The phase of layer finalization is done by pressure of beer from the lager tank. We keep the tank pressure on the same level during the whole filtration period by adding technological gas. We continuously fill the feed pipes with beer. We switch the filter to the circulating circle out of the dosing pump and carefully open the input to the filter. Manometers show the pressure level according to the lager tank. We increase the speed for a period of 5 minutes.
After this time, we slowly decrease the flow to the filtration speed. Replacing water with beer. Before the draw-off starts, we prepare the mixture for continuous dosing. It is necessary to already start dosing the filter material during the draw-off. We use the same or softer mixture as used during the second part of the basic silting up. Water from the filter first goes to the sewer. Unless there is a limiting valve which creates counter pressure, it is necessary to create it by constricting the outlet flap. We keep constant flow through the filter and the pressure behind the filter. When water mixes with beer in the filter, we can collect this mixture, or draw off, in the separate tank for further usage. Filtration. When there is clear, full-valued beer coming out of the filter, we switch the route into the transfer tank. We pay particular attention to constant flow during filtration, and we revise it according to the rising differential pressure. The differential pressure increases during filtration due to rising resistance of the filter layer. We try to optimize the increased value by choosing the filter mixture and amount. The optimal value is approximately 0.5 bar per hour. We can keep track of the filtrate quality during filtration by observing the outlet side glass with LED lights, or we can take a sample through the sample valve. A successful filtration depends on the correct choice and quality of the filter materials. Filter bergmail or perlite can be used as filter material. The amount is defined between 60 to 150 grams per hectoliter, depending on filtrability of the beer and using the pressure workload. To eliminate protein or polyphenol fog, we can apply stability means in a tapering fashion. Circulation. If necessary, the filter can be switched to the circulation circle. The flow is still maintained to keep the filter layer on the plugs. After switching, we have to set up dosing back to the dosing device. Replacing beer with water. In the first phase, beer is pushed into the transfer tank. When beer mixes with water, we can collect this mixture, or after running, into the tank with a draw off. It is still necessary to dose filter material. In the end, beer is pushed by water out into the sewer. Water coming into the filter has to have the same pressure as the beer. The pressure is either decreased by a pressure reducer, or water is delivered via the empty lager tank. When after running is finished, we switch the filter into circulation, close the water supply, switch off the main pump, and close the flap in front of the filter. Sludge removal. It is necessary to follow all the demonstrated cleaning and sanitation processes carefully to keep the whole filter and filter plugs clean. It is the only way to keep the declared output quality of the filtrate. Firstly, we remove the filter cake by using powered water, which is supplied in the opposite direction to filtration. We repeat the procedure four or five times until the filter cake goes down. Sludge outlet. Consequently, we let the sludge out of the filter body. We open the air outlet piping of the filtrate area, which draws air. It helps to release sediments into the filter plug slots. We also let out the residual contents of the dosing device container.
removal of sludge residuals. For the following phase, we connect air with a pressure of 6 bars and cold water with a pressure of 3 to 4 bars to the filter. The removal of sludge residuals is done by alternating the water and air supplies into the filter in the opposite direction of filtration. Sufficient supplies of powered air are secured by an integrated container. We leave the air outlet pipes of the sludge area open during the removal of sludge residuals. We repeat the procedure four or five times. Rinsing point one. We also properly rinse all the filter piping with cold water, the main product pipes, the fast silting up pipes of the dosing device, and the air outlet pipes of the filter body. We focus on rinsing the dosing pump and dosing pipes, where it is crucial to leave no leftovers of filter material. We must not forget about the terminal armatures such as the sample valve, the safety valve or air outlet valve of the input pipes. Rinsing point two. In this phase, it is necessary to start watering the filter body up to the plug support plate after letting air out of the sludge area. Then we let air into the bottom part of the filter and the air washes the inner area of the filter body and is let out through the upper air outlet. The air input must be open only to the extent that the plugs do not vibrate too much. After five minutes, we close the air outlet of the sludge area, we open the air outlet of the filtrate area and we slowly let out the contents of the filter. In case of major contamination of the plugs, we recommend a final clean with powered air and water as described in the section Sludge Residuals Removal. Sanitation. When using chemicals, it is necessary to use protective means and respect valid regulations for working with these substances. The filter operator is obliged to provide such operating conditions so that the health of the workers and the other people in the filtration area is not endangered. Before any of the sanitation phases start, it is necessary to properly rinse the filter with water. It is possible to sanitize the filter using an independent CIP station or prepare the sanitation solution directly in the dosing device. The most usual way of sanitation is by alkaline means, a solution of sodium hydroxide. The filter is sterilized by hot water of 80 degrees, followed by intense cooling by the use of adequate chemical means. We recommend using disinfectants 
based on acetic hydroperoxide. Treatment with nitric acid is recommended after completing three filtrating cycles.